सो हेलो हाय दिस इज शुभम कोतवाल एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल शुभम कोतवाल ऑफिशियल और उसके बाद और भी न्यूज़ पोर्टल्स पे आप ये न्यूज़ देख सकते हैं एज ए न्यूज़ तो मैं अभी आया हूँ कॉमर्स कॉलेज में और आज जो है रामानुजाम जी का एक सौ जन्म दिवस है और कहीं ना कहीं हम देख रहे हैं आर्ट कल्चरल लिंग्विस्टिक और इंटेलेक्चुअल्स की तरफ कहीं ना कहीं इस सरकार में सेंट्रल सरकार की तरफ से कदम उठाए जा रहे हैं जहाँ स्किल एजुकेशन की तरफ काफ़ी तोजो दे रहे हैं और इस वजह से कॉमर्स कॉलेज में भी आज रामानुजाम के रिगार्डिंग जो रामानुजाम के टॉपिक्स हैं और भी एक्स्ट्रा जो मैथ में करंटली लेटेस्ट टॉपिक्स चल रहे हैं उनके रिगार्डिंग में बात चल रही है तो चलिए चल कर देखते हैं कॉमर्स कॉलेज में कि क्या ये मस्ती है तो स्टूडेंट्स को भी मिलते हैं और देखते हैं क्या हो रहा है पर्सन It tells that what kind of person that he or she becomes. So now we mathematicians, uh, we have a very mathematical approach to everything in life. Maybe anything in the universe, whether uh, under the sun or even the space. So now talking about uh, the current situation back to the physical reality, as you can see around, we can see a lot of geometrical figures, right? Uh, for example. Uh, room is a hollow cuboid, and then there are cylinders, then there are squares, and so on. But have you ever wondered what is the shape of a cloud? Anyone? No, right? We never wondered what's the shape of lightning of a thunder, or what's the shape of bronchi of a lung. Come on, we never wondered about it because these are all uh, irregular geometry. I will say because we have always wondered, about, we have always talked about what regular geometry, right? So now I'm going to talk about. That's where the uh, concept of fractals come in. Fractals are basically nothing but irregular geometrical figures. But what the word fractal means? The word fractal is derived from a Latin word fractus, which means irregular or fragmented. It's a non-regular geometric shape, as I told you earlier. And then it's never ending. It never ends. It goes to infinity and even beyond, if there is any beyond. then it's self similar and self repeating pattern as well now you are all very new to this concept so i would take a lot of examples so that you uh, you become very familiar and cordial to this word fractal so firstly i'll take fractals around us fractals around us are like uh, the branches of a tree the leaves and uh, the lightning of a thunder the clouds Every animals are able to count as well as the evidence for human counting goes back to the prehistoric times with check marks we call it as tally marks on the bones there were several innovations over the years with the egyptians having the first quadratic equation then during greek made stride in many areas like geometry and numerology negative numbers were invented in china Zero as a number was first found in India. Then, in the golden age of Islam, Persian mathematicians made further studies, and the first book of algebra, namely, namely Kitab al-Jabr, was written. Now, there is a lot more to the history of mathematics than what I just said, but I'm going to jump to the modern age of mathematics as we know it now. Identities in the partition of number. Work on the algebra of inequalities, elliptic functions, continued fraction, partial sum, and product of the hypergeometric series. Next one is uh, Satyendranath Bose. He is known for his collaboration with Albert Einstein. Uh, his famous contribution are Bose-Einstein correlation, Bose-Einstein condensate, Bose-Einstein distribution, Bose-Einstein stratex, and many more. So let's talk about some recent discoveries which are done in past few years on mathematics. And first one is published on Riemann hypothesis. The sum of three cube, x cube plus y square plus z square is equal to k, where k is 42. 
Two mathematicians, Andrew Sutherland of MIT and Andrew Bookers of the Bristol, have jointly proved that 42 is indeed the sum of three uh, cubes. Next is the collage quadrature. Next is the sensitivity quadrature. The sensitivity quadrature is a long-standing problem in a theoretical computer science that seeks to pierce. And yes, you all of your minds struck it right. Today, I am going to represent my presentation on role of mathematics in day-to-day -day life. For more, for more than 2,000 years, math has been a topic for a human research for understanding. Its discoveries, just addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, what else? Anybody? Yes, geometry, algebra, percentage, and all that stuff. And transfer into a disaster. Or we all do, and we all don't know, it will become a disaster. Math helps in marketing, preventing unnecessary expenditure of resources, right? In banks for recording saving and depositing. More interestingly now, for shopping also. For shopping, for calculating sales and discounts. A very important aspect for us. This symmetry, not even in sports, but also in all over the nature, as we have already discussed. In various signals, whether it's a game signals or a traffic signal, yes, we see many geometry uh, shapes in our traffic signals and many more symbols like that. And the sense, etc. For example, I'm going through Jammu to Delhi. First of all, I uh, only teach us addition and subtraction. It also gives the hope that every problem has a solution. Whenever we get, we always add. Whenever we lose, we subtract. Happiness is always multiplied and sharing is caring, we do thereby. These mantras in life, if we supply and we apply, mathematics makes our life simple in all aspects. This system of mind and body, there is always an identity revolving this system of mind, body and the intellect. Then you may call this system as Prana Pandita. But I am not the identity, I am not the body, I am not the mind. So, today I am here to talk on a serious major issue, but in a solution oriented manner. So, my topic for today is research and teaching methodology and especially for mathematics. Research and teaching. When I am saying research, you refer to a student and when I say teaching, you refer to a teacher. But first thing and the foremost thing I am going to do is break the wall between them. There is no teacher, there is no student. In the state, you all are here, I am asking you one thing. In the state of deep sleep, when you are sleeping, you are in deep sleep, there is no dream at deep sleep. Can you identify yourself with the body? Can you experience body? In state of deep sleep, can you experience body? Yes, mind don't exist at all. If there is no part, there is no mind. Am I the identity? See, we all, you know, accumulate identity and knowledge. We say I am Indian. In deep, in deep sleep, is there any Indian? There is nothingness. Simply nothingness. So we all are one and only one. That's why I start by saying I bow down to all the art months. This is a Kumbakonam Arts College. In 1903, Ramanujan joined this college only to fail in all examination except mathematics. So, one string Nujan said that an equation for me has no meaning unless it expresses a thought of God. So, he generally wants to express by this equation that for me, equation has nothing but it's a thought of the God. Now, I will show the magic square which is invented by the Rama Nujan. So, you can all see uh, that this square looks like a normal uh, magic square, but this is formed by the great mathematician of our country, Srinivasa Ramanujan. What is so great in it? Now I will show you in the next. Ramanujan magic square. So you all can see that this is the row and this is the columns where we show that sum of numbers of any row is 129 
and sum of numbers on any column is 139. So this is the uh, mindset of this genius, genius who can, can uh, settle this magic square. Now the next. Amma, come on the stage for the prize distribution. So the third prize is shared by two students. Mr. Nitish from 10th semester. Kenya student of 8th semester. She is not present here. Somebody else can come and come. Very nice presentation on methodology of research and teaching. Ananya Sharma. Kashish Sharma. Ritika Rana, Divya. You know, my friend, that my eyes are all the same. First, no one is going to get the prize. Ritika Rana, Divya. Ritika Rana, other people together. That's what makes IIT different from the rest of colleges. Watching that artificial intelligence and machine learning are becoming the future part of India. And when we go to artificial intelligence, we go for the linear algebra. When we go for the machine learning, there is uh, linear algebra, calculus, probability, everything. What sort of thing you suggest to these students? Because you are an institute in yourself. I consider you that. Because I know what is the value of uh, your building lecture here. What suggestion you make to these students so they can uh, collectively do something great and uh, increase their potential by carrying each other? What sort of activities or what uh, sort of mathematical practices they should do? Please elaborate. Yeah, so there are several kinds of activities. So, if you work on machine learning and computer and as a set of optimization. They are not based. So it depends on the impact in which site they are impacted. Happy National Mathematics Day to all. So first of all, I would like to thank Honorable Vice Chancellor Sir, Dean of various schools of Cluster University, or Dean of School uh, School of Sciences, Dr. Chandrasekhar Sir. They were present here during the inaugural session, uh, but due to their uh, meeting in Adam Block, they left us early. So, I thank administration of Cluster University who provides funds for the completion of this program. I would like to thank Dr. Department of But I have learned many things from him. I have joined in the department in January 2022 and I have learned so many things from him uh, during this short period of time that I spent with him. So I would also like to thank Dr. Manmohan Bishish who accepted my invitation for uh, today's program on a short notice. Thank you sir. I would like to thank all the media person who come here for the coverage of this program. And finally, I would like to thank all the students who are present here. Without their participation, this program could not have been such a wonderful event. So thank you so much. At the last, I would like to say only one thing. As Pranav has said, we all are learners. We are here to learn. There is no teacher and no student. Uh, because in mathematics, I think, no one is good enough to know all the things and no one is bad enough that he can't understand the things. It's only the time, sincere effort that you spend on a particular topic that only decides whether you are good or bad. So, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.